give an overview of Kali Linux terminal. Uh, the terminal is actually similar to uh, the command prompt we use in Microsoft Windows or a terminal we use in Mac OS. Uh, it is not uh, a lot different from, from, from both of them and it's quite similar and it's quite easy and I would say that uh, that the Linux terminal is very very powerful and that is why it is actually used because there, there are a lot of things we cannot do using a graphical user interface but we can do them uh, using the using the terminal actually so and in order to uh, learn hacking and do penetration testing and and the hacking stuff uh, we need to know how how to actually operate it and uh, some basic Linux commands so uh, in this video, uh, I am going to tell you some basic commands like how to copy stuff and how to list, uh, how to move into directories and how to list uh, the items available uh, in the directory and, and something like that. So, the first command I am going to tell you will be ls and ls is actually, uh, it's a listing command. So. Uh, what it is going to tell us is it is going to tell us the all the uh, all the folders available in the directory we are so once we press enter we can see that we have desktop documents and downloads and all these folders available in the directory we are so uh, another command i want to tell you will be man command man command is actually uh, a manual command and it actually gives us uh, the information or the help material for for each and every command we want to use after that so for example as we use the ls command right now i am going to give i am going to say man and then i am going to write ls so uh, it is going to give us the manual for the ls command as in it is going to tell us how to use ls and what options it, it comes comes with actually so here you can see that we can see that it is it says that ls it's a list directory contents and that is how we can use it and there are some options we can use with it as in we can use dash a with it and do not ignore entry starting with dot uh, and it actually means that it shows us uh, the hidden contents too so uh, and we can press enter and it will start loading the other commands we can use with it and this is actually the options we can use with the command so once we want to quit it we can say i am actually going to show you an important option for it and that is dash l so dash l actually say use a long listing format so it is going to give us the details of all the directories uh, that are available in, in the in the present working directory actually so uh, uh, let me show you how it is done so we will say q and it quits now we can say ls dash l and now you can see that there are total 32 items available uh, in the root folder actually and we can also see all the uh, stuff about these folders actually so it's telling us that it was uh, it was created in on october 26 at what time it was created and this root root is actually uh, the permission uh, the the owner of this owner of this uh, folder actually so uh, the owner of desktop folder is 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 a root root user these are the permissions which are which are given to these folders uh, uh, that that is read, write, and uh, delete. So you don't need to worry about these permissions. We are going to talk about that later. But uh, for now, you need to know that how ls ls works. Not ls actually. I want you to know that how we can do stuff in it. So we can also say ls a, and 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 we can see that it also shows us now uh, the files which are actually hidden and if we say ls la it is going to show us all the information about those folders 
so uh, there is another command just like man command and that is ls uh, that is help actually so we can say ls double dash help and we can press enter and now it is going to show us all the options similar to uh, the manual command so it is going to tell us the usage and it, it, it says that ls and then an option comes after that and then if uh, we can set the file uh, file flag if we want to do anything about that and we can also see that what an option do and how and what is the actual purpose for it just like manual so help is a comma help and manual is a command we can use with uh, each and every software actually so if if you installed a new software if you installed a new tool on Kali and you don't know how to uh, how to work with it and how it actually works so we can use the help command for example there is a command command cd so we say cd double dash help and it is going to tell us how it is actually used and all the options we can use uh, with the cd command so uh, another op uh, another important command which uh, that is pwd which stands for present working directory and it, it is going to tell us that in which folder we actually exist right now so we are in the root uh, we can say ls and we can see that there are the folders if we want to go into a folder for example i want to go into download so i can say cd and then if i write down and if i want if i am lazy and i don't want to write uh, the whole downloads i can just press press the tab button and it will fill out uh, the option available for me so cd downloads is, is actually going to take me to the downloads folder now so if I press enter and you can see that I am in the downloads folder and I and I can also write pwd to see in which directory I am I click enter and now I am in root and downloads directory so uh, another thing is uh, for example I want to make a new folder in in the downloads folder so I will say mkdir that is make directory and now I can name it like test folder. I press enter and now if I list in the downloads, I can see that there is a test folder available. If I want to go back to, uh, to the root directory, I can just say cd and now I am into root. Now if I, uh, for example, I am going to list the files for you so you can see it. If I want to copy the documents folder to the desktop folder, how I can do that? For that, I uh, will use the cp command. And in cp, so uh, what cp actually does is that it copies one file to another. So uh, I am going to tell you like we can say cp and then after that, uh, I am going to set uh, a, fa uh, a flag that is that R and then I can say documents and then I can say downloads downloads so what it is, it is doing is it is saying copy the documents folder to the downloads folder so uh, it is copying documents folder to the downloads folder and I press enter <coughs> and now I can go to the downloads folder and I can list those op those and I can see that there is a documents folder <coughs> in it another thing how to remove it uh, we can say rm uh, dash r and we can say documents and press enter and it is going to uh, delete it now we can ls and we can see that there is no documents available here so uh, you don't need to worry about dash r actually because it is just like uh, a simple flag or a simple option just like we set the dash l option so for uh, dash r actually says that 
do uh, the rm command for all of the directory actually all of the folder actually so we are not doing it for a single file we are doing it for the whole folder this is what it what it actually says uh, and if we want to see the uh, see the previous commands we use we can just play press up, uh, upper button and it will show us the commands and i don't have to type them again and again and i can press up and down uh, to see those commands clear is another command we can clear clear the terminal uh, we can cd and it will take us to root directory and that will be all uh, so uh, these are just some basic linux commands these are not actually uh, the commands where you where you hack but if you want to learn hacking you need to know these commands and you need to know how we, we use actually use terminal so this video will actually make you uh, a little more terminal friendly and it, it is going to help us in the, in the future so this this will be all for this video thank you very much